Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Wall Plugin. This is Nathan Wilkerson and today I'm going to be discussing multi-story construction with the uh, wall plugin. And actually today I'm going to also be demonstrating that with uh, both the Trust plugin and the Foundation plugin as well. So to get going here, let's just um, go ahead and just create a grid so we have something to work off of real quick. And I like to use this little tool here. I think SketchUp provides it. It's a little plug-in for creating a, a handy little grid. So let's go ahead and just throw down a stem wall foundation. And I'm just going to do a rectangular shape here. Very basic. You can see with the grid it allows me to snap nicely to any uh, point in the, on the foot increment. So I'm just going to do a 24 by 32. Okay and we're going to put an interior floor beam in there. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the interior walls and beams and what have you. Just I'm mostly I want to show the exterior wall and how to work with that with the multi-story construction. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put this in the Y direction. And hit OK. Just going to go with the defaults for now. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Okay, so there's our uh, basic stem wall foundation. <coughs> now we need to put a floor on top of that. And if we go up here to the truss plugin and we go to the floor truss module, actually you have more than the floor truss available to you. You also have all these uh, eye joists. So we're just going to go TGI and stretch that across here. Just need to pick three points for a rectangular shape. And we're going to roll with the 11.78 TGI floor. <coughs> And on this one, we want to make sure the advanced floor options are on because what that's going to give us is the ability to put a seal plate down on top of that foundation. And defaults here are good. Just hit OK. OK, so you can see now that we've got uh, a pressure treated seal plate sitting on top of that foundation stem wall with some uh, eye joists sitting on top of that. All right, <clears throat> now we get to the interesting part. So with a wall, um, basically, we're going to want our sheathing and our cladding to extend beyond the bottom of the wall down and lap over this uh, rim joist and actually maybe project past it about 14 inches so and then also on the second story we're going to want to split the difference between uh, so we're going to have the sheathing lap down and then the sheathing from the bottom the next uh, first level go lap up so what we have to calculate of course is what this total depth is here and about 14 and an eighth of inches. So I'm going to go 14 and a half down on my what I call my vertical offset uh, to lap down over this and then <coughs> let's see uh, then for the upper story we're going to use the same eye joist so it's going to be 12 and 5 eighths so I bring my calculator over here and I take 12 and I actually already did the calculations but I'll show you how I do that so just take that divide that by 2 and so we're going to bring it down 6.3125 and then 6.3125 up and then that will give us the proper lapping okay so let's just go ahead and draw this wall <coughs> so actually I've already created um, the proper um, what I call presets but we'll go ahead and just do it over again so the vertical offset is the one that's going to go up by 6.3125 and then the vertical offset bottom that's going to be actually 14.5 and then we want to do the same thing with the cladding so we want the up offset on the top to project above the plate and then we want that to go below okay so that should take care of us and <coughs> yeah we'll just leave the rest defaults for now and then we're going to save this as uh, exterior one for first level. Should save all preset. All right. Just in case we need that later on. So now it's already uh, loaded, but we, to activate it, we ha we um, we could hit load and it'll activate as well. But we can just hit update here. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw that. So we just go along here, pick our corners, and remember to the outside corner of the framing, 
and you can see right there it's it's lapped that bottom and, and you can see up here it's projecting above the plate okay great it's doing exactly what we need to do <coughs> and I apologize I'm a little slow here I don't got my right correct mouse right now um, but we're, we're getting there okay and put your point right there and then hit your space bar and you're done okay so now we've got that. Now we want to put the second floor on. Um, and granted, all this sheathing and cladding kind of gets in the way, so I like to just usually turn it off. So let's turn off the wall cladding, and let's turn off the wall sheathing, wherever that went. All right, and we didn't put any insulation in there, but that's all right. We, we'll just keep it simple today. Turn off the gypsum, too, while we're at it. Okay, so, <coughs> yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and put another floor on there, another level. So we're going to platform frame this guy. And same thing again. Just a rectangle. Actually, that's the only option available right now. We do need to get a polygon uh, outline to set up for the, the floor. <coughs> okay, and we'll just go with 11.75 again. And this time, we will turn the seal plate off because we don't need that and hit OK. Okay, so there we go. We've got a second floor up now. Alright, and now let's go ahead and put the second story on. Okay, so this time around, a little different. Um, we don't want the offset because we're going to just bring it up to the top of the plate and then from there we got a truss set that's going to go on top of there. So let's just go ahead and copy that first, but we do want that on the bottom. So notice the T and the B, top and bottom. Okay, so we're going to zero this. And same thing right here. We're going to zero that. And we're going to put this one right there. Okay, so now we're set up to go for level two. I'm going to save that as exterior two. Okay, and then I'm going to click load just to make sure it loads. And it's it's already loaded, I don't need to do that, but alright, and let's go ahead and draw this one. And actually I'll move this out of the way, turn this layer back on just so we can see as it draws it. Okay, so Okay, you can see right there the sheathing comes straight down and matches meets up with that other one and then the top. It's just flush the top plate, exactly what we want. Okay, so now let's go ahead and throw down the other walls. And of course, I'm just doing a simple rectangular structure. I mean, you know, this could be a lot more complicated than it is. <coughs> but for the sake of time, I just want to keep it simple. Okay, so now we've got ourselves four walls. And now let's go ahead and just throw um, a roof on this guy. And I'm going to turn off the sheathing layer so you can see what's going on. Let's put a simple common truss on top of that. So three points again. So now we're using the truss plug-in. Let's go default on that, default on that. Uh, on this one we're going to change, and notice as you mouse over you get these little images that show you kind of a little thumbnail of what those different <coughs> definitions are. Um, let's go structural outlookers, yes. And I think we'll leave the rest as it is. Yeah, let's just leave it as it is. Okay, gypsum, yeah, good. We got the ceiling gypsum. Uh, gutter downspout length, we're going to change that to, let's say, 200 inches, which is about eh, roughly two stories. And we might have to adjust that, but I'll show you that in the next step here. So go ahead and create the roof. Okay, um, okay, so we forgot to turn the downspouts on, and that's fine. We will edit that roof, and we just go down here, and you can see that we turn the downspouts yes and hit update. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn the sheathing and cladding back on. Oh, and you notice here on these mid span blocking, it looks thicker than normal, and that's because I've set that two and a half inches in the default globals. 
Um, <clears throat> granted, I'd probably be one and a half most of the time, but I just thought I'd show you that that option is now available where you can actually set the, uh, it, it used to be default to the stud thickness, but now it's it, you can actually set that block thickness to whatever you like. Um, <clears throat> oh, let's change this uh, gutter downspout. Let's drop it down, no, oh, another, let's say, 30 inches. And, you know, you can obviously fine-tune this as much as you like. Okay, that's good enough for that. Um, all right, um, let's throw the sheathing cladding back on. And the gypsum, so the gypsum is, is all in there as well, or the interior cladding. I call it gypsum because that's usually what we use around here, but it doesn't have to be. <coughs> okay, so there's your uh, basic structure. Let's go ahead and throw some windows and doors in there just to keep it interesting. Um, <coughs> granted, I should set these options a little better here so I don't have to set them, but uh, all right. Now the nice thing about this grid now, for instance, is see I select this wall and then I say I want that door four inches from the corner, the outside corner. See, then I've got it. it it's really easy with the grid. And then like, let's say this one, I know it's 24. So let's say I want it uh, six feet from the corner, 18 feet from the start. Boom, it's done really easy. So, and let's throw, go ahead and throw some windows in. I'm just going to leave all the defaults just for now. So I can go quick here. <coughs> um, notice that I've added the manufacturer uh, name and I've actually turned the labels on for that. So that should uh, show up. Okay, and let's go ahead and just add in a window here. Maybe another one on this side. And granted, these windows can all be adjusted or. It doesn't really matter, I guess, where I put this window. I'll just throw it in there somewhere. And let's put one up on the top, on the center here. Um, <coughs> now, if we wanted to line up. Um, the best thing actually is to probably put another grid up on the second level so we can play adjust with that. But yeah, you know, bottom line is is you know <coughs> you can always adjust these after the fact. So let's say this window we're not happy with where it is. Come up here, grab the move opening tool. All right, so now we want to shift it over exactly three feet. There we go. All right, so there's our second story structure. Uh, I guess the main point I want to make is that with the ability to set the offset of the sheathing and cladding, uh, you're able to close the gap on at the rim joist and you know basically create a seamless structure. Well, it's not quite seamless, but it's pretty darn close. Okay, so now let's take a look here at these walls. So we didn't put any trim on the exterior corners, and that's what I wanted to add in. Um, <coughs> and actually, I'm going to turn the gutter layer off for just a second so we can see that better. Uh, gutters. Where's gutters? Right there. Okay, turn the gutters off. Okay, so basically we have uh, the wall set up, but we forgot to put the trim. So we can always do that. So let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, let's use it, this tool here. Edit wall. And we're going to just select a wall. And... Uh, You'll notice here, it doesn't show that we used a particular uh, preset. All it knows is that what the settings are of the wall. Um, but if we ever need to return to a particular preset, we can always do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a new... I've already got, you know, you can see you've got your offsets all coming out of the database here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, let's see, I want to turn on the exterior trim. And I just want to do a couple things here. I don't want the band board. And I don't want the freeze board. But I do want the skirt board with its um, drip cap. Okay, so we've got the skirt board on. We've got the drip cap on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as another preset. And I'm going to call this one trim exterior one trim okay save wall preset 
Okay, and now I'm going to load that preset and, uh, just to make sure it's loaded, and then I'm going to hit update, and that should update this wall number one. Okay, now you'll notice you don't see anything on the corners, and the reason is because some, depending on the way the uh, the wall exterior wall is, whether it's an inset or an outset corner, will determine whether or not it will have the corner trim because. So you don't want to duplicate it twice. You want one wall panel to provide the trim and then the other wall panel not to. So now if we go to this wall, see now now with the new ability of the edit menu, you can select another wall and see it's going to load that wall up. Now what we do is we don't have to go in and mess with all this. We just pull down our exterior uh, one trim that we set up, load it, and then update the wall. Okay, now you see the, the corner trim and the uh, and the skirt board. Okay, same thing we're going to do over here. We're going to click this one. Now it's going to load up that wall in the menu. We're going to load our exterior one trim. And then we're going to hit update again. Okay, and same thing over here. And load and then hit update. All right. Okay, so now we're going to do this wall. Now this wall we don't want to hit with the exterior one trim because then that's going to make all the settings from down here up here which we don't want. What we do want to do though is we want to turn the trim on and now we want to turn off the skirt board. We want to turn off the band board and we want to turn off the freeze board. We're just going to leave on the corner trim. Okay, So we've got the outside corner trim and potentially the inside corner trim if we need it. But of course on this design we don't. Um, <coughs> the rest of this is not doesn't matter as long as we have the skirt board off and you can see that we've got our uh, proper offsets. So now we're going to go ahead and save this preset. Exterior 2. Call this one trim because this one has the trim on, uh, uh, enabled. And we're going to save it. We're going to load it. And we're going to hit update. Okay. Of course nothing happens because that's an inset wall, but if we go on this wall, let me hit update. Okay, now you can see the trim. Let's go ahead and do this one just to get them all the same. I'll not delete update. All right, and then the final wall here. Oh, a little bit first, exterior to trim. Hit load, and then update the wall. Okay, so we're done updating. And um, yeah, there's your two story structure. We've got some trim on it now. We've got some skirt board. We've got, uh, you know, our lapping. I'm, I'm going to take a cross section of this now just to show you kind of what's happening inside of this thing. So let's just do that real quick and then we'll be done here. And let's move that guy. Okay, let's hide that for now. We don't need that. So what's happening here is we've got, <coughs> of course, we set our waterboard and our um, skirt board on the sheathing instead of the cladding, so that's why it shows it kind of interfering there with the with the uh, cladding. But granted, you know, you'd probably take the cladding and strip, not bring it all the way down. But you can see that we have lapped our sheath and cladding down over the rim joist with a little bit of an overhang here. You know, you can fine tune that was about a half inch. And then up here at the second story uh, floor level we have the cladding and sheathing lapping over the rim joist and splitting the difference here nicely uh, on the rim joist. And typically I think that's actually the way you'd want to frame that up. So, yeah, it's fairly fairly accurate I would think. So there's your basic two-story structure. I haven't gone into, of course, interior beams or walls, um, but I just wanted to kind of demonstrate how you deal with a two-story structure and exterior walls. So um, there you have it. Um, if you have any questions or uh, comments, let me know. I will go ahead and just put this model up on the uh, <coughs> 3D warehouse just so you can have it and look at it, roll it around. 
All right, thank you very much, and hopefully this video was helpful, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.